Is it working? Oh, it's been so long, I've forgotten how to use my, my equipment. Well, you know, so to say. Oh, missus. Anyway, um, you join me today. I'm starting from Sutton Scotney Services, heading northbound on my man, many trips over the last year or so that I've been doing back and forth to crew. Um, very little European work, in fact, no European work, except for last week. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about that later. So um, I think we'd better crack on. It's nearly 25 past six. Uh, I'm in no hurry. Um, we haven't got any um, load details yet. So we're going to crack on up the A34 on the 40 and all the rest up to the M6 and we're going to stop at Stafford Services northbound and possibly get a Greggs. Right, let's go. Tack track on drive. See old school still. Um, get some side lights on. Yeah, it's a lovely morning. Let's say I've, um, I can't remember out there. Let's straighten that out a little bit. Not that it makes much difference, I don't think. Uh, I can't remember how to use all my equipment that's been so blooming long. And I suppose it take me about two months to edit it because I've forgotten how to use all that stuff as well. Um, right, yeah, it's a lovely morning. So it's uh, Thursday, the um, something of something, the 28th of April. And it's uh, 25 past six in the morning. It's a beautiful morning. Um, yeah, so not a lot been going on in my life. Well, there has and there hasn't, but there is in a lot of people's lives at the moment, isn't it? What with um, all this, and, you know, lunatics around the world. It's very sad times and the COVIDs. And I hope you've all been well and not been too ill through the, you know, the COVID malarkey. In fact, um, me and Angie did cop it about three weeks ago. We had a little trip over to Guernsey. Sorry I didn't film it, but I, you know, I just want the right of them. You know, I, I just couldn't get me over and shut that noise up. Um, so we, we took the little truck over to Guernsey for a little job. A little little uh, run out. You know, it's only, only down the port, so it's only sort of half hour from our, load, uh, our yard and then across on the ferry to Guernsey which is an 11 hour crossing going over and a 13 hour crossing coming back because up uphill coming back um, but the thing is we had a, a cabin going over which is a day crossing and um, which you don't really need do you but on the way back we uh, come back overnight um, and I booked in a reception on, on board and it says accommodation on, on the um, ticket Oh, you've got a recliner seat. Said, Hang on a minute. This says accommodation. She said, oh yeah. So, so I can't really go into the details what happened, but it was nothing to do with the ferry company. It was something. It was uh, something out of my hands and other people that should have known better. So we ended up sitting up all night with all the bloody normals because it was bank holiday or a snow one. It wasn't bank holiday. It was the start of the school holidays. So. Um, it was very busy on board and we couldn't get away from thank you mate very kind not many do it these days um we couldn't get away from all the herbits and i think we called it through that because we couldn't go into a cabin away from it all so we ended up having a week off really ill um two years we managed to get away with it and um yeah we copped it i think it's about three or four weeks ago now but we're okay angie's still got a cough there we go. Right, let's crack on up this A34 and um, see what it brings us. So anyway, where were we? Oh, by the way, the weather's turned rubbish. I did that virtually as we left uh, Sutton, Scotland. Um, yeah, so well, we're just approaching the M42 at a minute, as the sign says there. So uh, yeah, where are we? I don't want to quite repeat myself and waffle on and keep going on about the same old thing. So, me and Angie, we went to um, Guernsey, ended up with COVID, had a week off, and then last week, um, we actually had a job over to um, Netherlands, 
we had one delivery in Amsterdam and one in um, two deliveries in Copenhagen. Now I did intend to vlog that, which I wish I could have done. I had Angie with me. Uh, I took all the equipment, but honestly, I just I just couldn't get my head around it. I do apologise. Um, it's been so long since I've used my equipment. I don't know where I'm using it right now, actually. And it's going to take me a bloody month or so to bloody edit this, I suspect. But because I hadn't been out of the country for over a year, obviously I had to sort of get my head around that. And then we got all this bloody Brexit rubbish, which was an absolute pain in the bloody backside. So anybody that tries to justify Brexit to me, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't do this sort of job. You don't do import export. So don't even cross the subject with me because you don't want to hear my answer. Anyway, that's the end of that. So because of all that, uh, so I did take all my equipment with me and Angie. Well, she's not part of the equipment. She's Angie. Isn't she? So um, in the end, I, I really couldn't get my head around it, and I. I I really needed to make the most of the time we had together in the truck because we haven't been away since all that trouble then you know kicked off uh, a couple of years ago if you know well, if I look back at the vlogs you'll, you'll know if you haven't seen you don't know what the story is so anyway I'm waffling now again and on so that was that we ended up getting home last Saturday at up past eight at night after six days run out on the, the bank holiday Monday. Um, we actually got out of the country pretty well. There's no hold up straight on the train. There's only three vehicles in front of us queuing at the train. Um, so that was good. And if it wasn't for all the, um, the paperwork due to Brexit and the, the rubbish, it would have been a nice little trip. So anyhow, that was that. Um, so it's a shame really that you've got to put up with all that rubbish now with customs and this, that and the other. It's just ruined it. And a lot of people voted because they, they say, oh well it's going to stop the illegal immigrants. No it ain't, that's just got worse. It's just made everybody's job in life harder that deals with import-export and going out and into the country. So. So that's that, oh no, we've got a queue after the junction, I hope not. Um, so we're on the 42 now, and our next stop, uh, I'm doing that again, look. My next stop, because there's nobody here with me, will be in Stafford Services for a nice coffee and a bacon roll. traffic on the M42 which is expectable. Expectable? Expected this time of the morning. See I can't get me merds out. I don't know. It's all this vlogging yeah I've got to think about it now it's not second nature to me. I don't know what where I'm coming or going look. Well I normally get over there but I can't get over there because someone's parked where I normally park and so somebody else parked where I normally park. So I'll have a look round here and the 
official lorry park. If it's too nailed up, I think I can get to the left of the pumps over there. Because I do like, um, yeah, um, they're not too bad in there, but well, they've got some new signs up here. Look, no HGV, just caravans and that. Look at these Muppets here, look. Bloody illiterates, aren't they? Um, and the lorry park's virtually empty. But I, I don't like going in there because I like to park over here and then I'll, I'll get a little bit of a walk in. Um, let's have a look. Someone's at the other place where I normally park. So I'm going to park just to the um, to the left here. I'm not in anybody's way. It's not a caravan park or a motorhome park. And I'll get a little bit of a walk in. Look, got to keep fit, you know. Right, that can go on break. That can go on break. And I will see you in a minute when I've got my Gregs. So anyway, that didn't go very well. As you can see, I have got Greg's, uh, um, what's name, my own Greg's mug. But that's not a Greg's coffee. I've just been over to the BP and got my coffee. And that's definitely not a bacon roll, is it? That's a croissant. So I went into Greg's, blah, blah, blah. well I went into Kazi first, used the Kazi, done the malarkey. Um, went into Greg's. I had a £2.25 voucher which I got with, with my fuel. Um, so I thought I'd use that because you know, I'm behind on using my vouchers because of being off sick and going to Europe last week. Um, so I said, right, I'll have a bacon roll, brown sauce, regular latte please. Presents my two, oh we can't take that. What do you mean you can't take my voucher? I said, that's, I need to use it because that's why I'm in here. Oh, we can't tell that our system's down. All right, then. okay. All right, okay then, uh, I'll pay for it. But um, I'll have my receipt, because I then will get on to Greg's through their app, or through Twitter, actually, um, show them the receipt, and if I've had a problem before, they've, they've given them the points and that. Oh, we can't give you a receipt, because our system's down. I said, not only will you take, not take my vouchers, you expect me not to have... Uh, my points for my for my purchase as well. Well, that's the way I said. Well, forget it. So I've come over here. I've taken me out my lifetime. My life. I think what they call them mugs. Anyway, I've taken that in there because you get fifty pence off for a deal if you take your own mug in. So that's three quid, which is the same price as if I was buying that thing from Greg's. And I've and I well I haven't actually paid for it because I used it uh, points off my BP app. So this cost me nothing really. So everyone's a winner. So I'm gonna eat that now. Um, I've got a little bit of paperwork to do in here before we set off and then um, we'll crack on up to crew. Right then, let's go. A little better now, I've still got a bit of coffee left. I've had my croissant. Maybe it was a healthier option in the end. Look, you know, I walked over there to get it and walked back, didn't have anything, so. I went in the BP, as, as we know. Um, plus I've got the points in there on my card. Which I forget, forgot to do on my transaction. I'm sitting there, I thought, oh, I didn't get my blooming card stamped. So I walked over there and he's kind enough to, to stamp it up for me. Um, so, um, and I've also tweeted out to Greg's that I'm not very happy with their, their um, what's going on. I know it might be out of their hands with the vouchers, with the um, system might be down and all, but. Yeah, I'm a customer, I was disappointed. It was one thing after another, so um, you know, that's what it's all there for, isn't it? To have a little bit of a complaint. If you can get something out of it, you can get something out of it. You don't get much for free in this life, do you? Ah, so right then, it's uh, 20 past 10. Um, we are gonna, no, I am gonna be in crew. Let's sort my thing out. Uh, gonna be in crew for about 11 o'clock. Um, get out here amongst all these. Steady. Thank you very much, kind sir, and his Mercedes. His nickel Mercedes. Thank you. Uh, yeah, he's polite. Yeah, good. That's the way it's meant to be done. Look, you know, get out, take it steady, give people a chance to go out if they can move out and be prepared to stop if they can't and then flash them in and then they say thank you and you say thank you for their kind gesture. End of story. Anyway, right, 
I was going to tell you something back there that I've never got round to because I had stuff to do and it was all going on and I've had an hour's break um, so uh, this is the day before the day that I finish so tomorrow which is Friday the uh, so look at the date the 29th I should remember it really should I is when I become truckless I will be hanging my keys up for the last time tomorrow after 42 years behind the wheel as a lorry driver delivering UK and European you're welcome um, so that'll be it tomorrow I've got very mixed emotions um, I get a bit upset sometimes because it's been a way of life ups and downs the last two years have been crazy for all of us haven't it but I've got to do it sometime I've gone how many months over uh, I've gone about a year almost a year and a half over my, my retirement age so the money that I've earned in that extra year and a bit has actually paid for the camper van when it finally arrives which is now August um, but yeah it's gonna be hard um, it's gonna be very hard for me I think but I am staying on the books um, so if they need need a professional driver anytime they can call on me so I will be doing a little bit of part-time as and when and I've told them that I prefer if need if possible to only do the odd little job in, job in my old little truck um, I don't fancy doing all these big truck malarkeys to Europe and all there is something in the pipeline for, for next oh gear that's that croissant there is something in the pipeline for next month but it's not confirmed yet um, I will let you know as and when uh, and Angie can come with me so that's all okay now um, but that's it tomorrow is my final day as a full time lorry driver it's been good yeah, it's been a way of life I've done a lot of good things and well, look at that look at this look at this bloke here look oh he's tailgating that voxel that trucker yeah that green thing now I know that voxel perhaps could have gone in the outside lane and overtaken the trailer thing in front of it but there's no need to tailgate that's not professional one bit um, so I've got to try and get my hand in on this vlogger malarkey again because when the camper van comes the plan is to do camper van life I don't know if that'll interest any of you but a lot of you like watching us because it's us not because of what we do so I'm led to believe so hopefully that'll be the case we can get into sort of camper van vlogs I've been watching a lot of um, camper vanners over the last year that's why I've ordered the van for well, more than a year it was sort of in when I was furloughed uh, thanks for not flashing me in GBA, you're, you're, you're rude. Um, so that's what got me off on that, and I, I really don't watch trucking vlogs anymore because most of them just bore me to tears because it's what I do, and that's another reason why I don't vlog in the UK because I think the UK is boring, I mean, especially when you're doing the same route all the time. But how interesting can you make the same route? You can't. And it's just the same old M6, A34, you know, and you watch other UK vloggers, it's just a little bit mundane. You know, when you can go to different countries and sample different cultures, that's part of making the, the vlogs interesting, but that's really, it's really not worth all the extra work and effort and editing and time. Um, it's a shame, you know, because when I first started, I would have vlogged anything, but I think the way it's gone, you know. But anyway, that, that's it. So tomorrow's my final day. This is my final run. They've been quite gentle with me this week. All I've got to do now is go and load and crew. And I could get back tonight, but I think I'm going to meet my mate Guy in, in Norton Kane Services. Uh, he's on his way up, and I'll be on the way down, so we're going to meet up there, and we're going to have a walk out and have a couple of points together and a bit of a chat you know and sort of 
have a chill out evening. In fact, we might just go this. I think we're going to be in there this afternoon, so we might sort of go mid afternoon, have a couple of pints, and then we can relax, do our own things in the evening. Look, watch Emmerdale and Corrie and van life, camper van life vlogs. And I do still watch Trucker Josh because he's. I've been with him from the start. You know, he's the one that inspired me. And it's a shame Ned Kelly still doesn't do it. Yeah, if Ned was still vlogging, I'd be in there like a shot. Um, and, so, and speaking of Ned Kelly, um, last Saturday when me and Angie were coming back from doing that, that Netherlands job, we actually went down to Germany and loaded and we'd done a, a, a little cabotage job in Germany and then reloaded back for the UK. And we went into Badoo at, at, at Dunkirk. And then later on in the day, Angie saw on Facebook, because I'm not on Facebook, she saw that Ned Kelly was at Badoo um, in Dunkirk. And we missed each other by an hour. Around about an hour from what I can remember. And what a shame. Yeah, and maybe I would have vlogged that a little bit, because I had all the kit with me. And um, one day, Ned, we'll meet up, mate. We'll have, to, we'll have to actually make a point of meeting you soon because we'll be tra travelling around our camper van and maybe when you're home for the odd time because I know you're still, you're still tramping around Europe and um, I just know you've been up in Sweden lately haven't you? Which is, that's very dear to our heart. We love going to Sweden, me and Ange. We've been up there several times. We've had some really nice trips up there. So, um, yeah, if we can sort of get over and see you in Ireland, Ned, we'll come over and see you. Um, but yeah, what a shame, we missed him by an hour or so in in, um, in the Padoos, in Padu at um, Dunkirk. That was, that was um, a blooming shame. And it would have worked out really right, wouldn't it? Just finishing, look, and, and uh, meeting up with the old bloke, look. Well, old bloke, he's younger than me, but there you go. One day, mate. Loaded out of crew, that was very emotional. Saying goodbye to the guys in the factory. And those that you know, there's only one factory in crew. So, but no, it's um, it's weird, isn't it? A person of my age getting very emotional. You know. But there you go, that's life, that's why I am. But, so this is my last load out of crew. Well, for now, unless I come up and do the odd run here and there. Like I said, I'm staying on the books in case there's any emergency jobs they need me to do occasionally. I stay occasionally. So the plan is now is um, start heading south, get down to the toll road <coughs> in the Norton Kane services, meet up with Guy. In fact, I would have only done just over seven hours by the time we get there. I could, I could get back. But I'm only running back and tipping, so um, I thought, well, I'll stay out tonight, meet up with my mate, chew over the cud in the pub over a couple of pints, and then um, get on down there tomorrow and, 
I've got to clear all this lot out. There's loads of stuff in here and not as much as when we used to have the little truck though, because that was my home, home from home that was. Everything but the kitchen sink, you know, with the cooker and the little kitchen on the side, didn't we? Um, a bloody good little truck that was. Well, it still is a good little truck, but it's not kitted out like, like I used to have it. So if we do go away in it, any time, it's, um, it's really basic. You know, because the kitchen, little kitchen unit I made for it, I had to break that up because it, <laughs> it was just in the way at home. Never thought I'd use it again. What's the point of keeping it, just in case, you know? You never know, do you? Um, yeah, so that's it, really. Um, I don't know if I've rode back from Greg's, I've been busy. But I will give you an update on that later. We'll, um, we'll see. So we're just heading out round, we're gonna be going around the Nantwich Bypass and out round, sort of the ring road that goes out round Crewe. I think there's a little bit of road works up here, but so it don't matter, I ain't in no bloomin' hurry. And then um, we'll see what happens this afternoon. We just go out this afternoon, I think, me and Guy. Have a couple of beers and then we can just chill out this evening. He can do what he likes. He likes going to bed early because he, he does start really early in the mornings. Um, yeah, he's been starting at 3 o'clock in the morning, so I bet he'd be a little bit knackered, look. Yeah, got road works here. The other day I come out here is further down and it was um it was chaos. But you know that was that was turning out time, so um, yeah, don't know what to do, it's something to do with water and stuff. Right then, so we'll crack on and um I'll see you further down the road look. Good morning guys. Right, for the last time let's get this show on the road. Had a nice afternoon, yesterday afternoon when we just after we parked up with my mate Guy who you see come in just after me. And believe it or not, and we didn't know this, I was heading south and he was heading north and we got into Norton Canes at exactly the same time. How about that's for timing? 
So we had went up the road and had a couple of points each and then come back and chilled out for the rest of the evening. So today it's just uh, run back, um, stop at uh, Cheveley Services. And that's not a very flattering light, is it? Anyway, I can't be asked with that now. Stop at Cheveley Services, get some diesel and possibly have a Greg's. But I don't know after yesterday's episode with Greg's because they just totally ignored me. So all right, let's crack on. Here we go. Very, very last time, maybe. I've just seen my mate, the groundsman in here, Martin. We've been friends. Yeah, I've been in and out of here for the last 18 months or so, and I've made friends with the, the groundsman here. He keeps the place really clean. So, um, no, he's a good chap. He's a good chap. He's come up and shook me hand and wished me all the best. He's always got a smiley face. He only lives just over the back here. But, yeah, so I've spent my lot. About 18 months of my life in and out of here. Various, various nights. And so there we go. I don't know if he's um, floating around around the back, giving a wave before I go. No, he's not. But anyway, he's come up and shook me hand and wished me all the best. Yeah, end of an era. There we go. And you can probably see that um, we don't park in the. Um, in the lorry park, we park in a special place around the back. Nice and quiet around there, no noise. We, um, in fact, it's the coach park, but it's so big. Sorry about the window, but it's so big that you can get a, quite a few lorries around there. Um, and so you don't have all the rumpus of fridges and everything, and all the bloody blokes shouting and being inconsiderate. So uh, that that is why we park there. Um, parking overnight, you get a, a toll pass, which um, I think it's about 12 quid, it saves 12 quid, which is good. Um, Want to get down to the, the uh, toll split with the M42 and that, because I am running a bit late now because I've been standing there for 15 minutes talking to Martin. Um, oh, and also last night, um, I see a friend of mine. You know, we've, we've got friends through the channel and Angie's friends with him on Facebook, Mike Castle, he drives for National Express. Um, luckily he come in, he's on his way down to London, he, they, they, they double man on the on the coach, uh, sort of service coach he is, uh, not a touring coach. And uh, he bought me a coffee and wished me all the best last night, so it's nice to see Mike. And um, hopefully our paths will cross again. So, right, let's crack on. Stop waffling, Steve. This is it. Right, we're just coming up to the toll booths. Um, we don't go through the normal channel with that ticket because we've got a, a toll a toll pass tag. We normally go up here and through to the left to, to you know, just automatically through the barrier. But um, because that's that's got a number, a serial number, and these these booths aren't um, personed anymore since the Covid's and all that so you've got to stop at the, the booth and press the button and speak to an actual human who will put the uh, the number through the system and lift the barrier for us and that will then get us on our way but they're normally quite polite sometimes the um, the tannoy thing's a little bit quiet but you shut your engine off and you can hear Press it with my knuckles so I'm not touching any germs. So we'll get in here. Whack the window down. And uh, shut the noise off and go and speak to a human. Right. Your call is important to us. Hello there, can I help? Hello, I've got a, a toll pass voucher. On it. It's D095009. That's lovely. If you can just destroy that for oh, me. Okay, lovely. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. You too. Thank okay. you. Bye. Oh, very nice young lady. Right, come on, girl. Come on, get in the gear. Sometimes this won't drop in the gear straight away and you end up. Making a fool of yourself, basically. Right, that's uh, possibly the last time I'll be doing this 
for a little while at least and I'll just get the old belt on look. Yeah, so that's it, toll pass, you get that where you're parking, so that's that done. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to stop at uh, Chibli for some fuel, I think for truck fuel and human fuel actually. Right, we're just coming down to where it joins, I think it's, it's the 446 that comes into the left. Um, I can't remember. Anyway, this, the, this toll road, see the, see the mayhem coming down there, oh look at that truck. Oh, it's been a bit of a come together here. There's a truck here up on a thing. But look at the car. I don't know if you can see that car there on that recovery truck. Something's happened there. Anyway, yes, um, it all gets a bit of a. Oh, he's hit that up the back. That's a mess. Jesus. Um, oh, he's gone right over the back of that. You can't really see it from now. Yeah, well, this comes down. It gets a bit of a mayhem in the morning because you get the traffic coming from the left joining the bottom of the toll road and some of them want to get over to the right to go down the M6 and you've got a, a, you've just got a bit of a kerfuffle going on there basically but I think we've just about got down here early enough to um, to miss the mayhem of that I've, I've, I've never really been stuck in it southbound because I'm aware of it but I've come north before and I must avoid that at all costs. We don't want to be doing that on the last day, do I? Sitting in traffic, we want a nice, cosy, comfortable run back. Um, we're going to get the usual splattering of morons, I should think. So yesterday, on the way up 34, got to Abingdon. It, it was the wrong time of the day for the traffic to queue to come off at the Abingdon split, yeah, where the DBSA checkpoint is. And I could see, see stuff breaking, and then I could see um, a, a Mercedes Sprinter van with his hazards on, and I thought, well, he's slowing up beyond traffic. But because I was far enough back, I could see that that wasn't the case. Um, the Sprinter was actually breaking down, but this, there was a car that was so close to him that he obviously couldn't see what was going on. He was right up his back doors, so to speak. Um, so I, yeah, I goes to the right, starts pulling past, and this this guy's struggling to get this van over to the left. And you know what the car driver was doing? He's sitting out behind him, blowing his horn. What's the bloke supposed to do? He's breaking down. He's doing his best. He's got his hazards on. If that moron wasn't so close to him he would see what, there was nothing in front. And this is what you're up against with these morons. They drive too close, they've got attitude, they don't give anybody else an inch. So, there you go, but I don't know. I don't know what this production's gonna be like. It won't be as slick as my normal stuff, I shouldn't think, because I'm out, I'm out of practice. Right, we're here. So, uh, what's the time? 10 to 8, oh, 7.48, then on time, look. Got an uneventful trip down the A34. With usual splattering of um, idiots, which is expected, isn't it? Really. The sun's come out as well. Look at that. I'm smashing. It needs to warm up. It's bloody freezing. I'm still wearing my woolly hat, and it's the end of bloody April. Look. Crazy. Well, I'll fill up them for the last time of my full-time career saying I won't be doing it again but this is the last time of thousands millions of litres I've put into trucks I should think over my 42 years um, I dread to think the cost of it that I'm not paying um, but I will be soon once you get the camper van it's all down to me It'll be two pound a litre by then I'll spare easy bloody August comes. Well we're going, the plan is to go in here, go straight to the pumps, see what chaos is around there. Um, should get 500 litres in. And then we'll go round again, come back round here and then park up and, and go over to Greg's. A little bit of a queue outside Greg's. 
um, oh the pumps look empty oh, that's handy so we're going to splash in 500 litres this is always bloody bumpier and you've got to be careful with the cargo I'll carry not to go tear ass and through stuff because it bounces around and you don't want to be doing no damage there so hopefully oh that space is empty oh look that's special oh look at this empty so um i'll get on this one here because I, um, I know this pump goes straight across it's got a long hose on it but because i'm going in this side i've got to be very careful i need to get in tight very careful not to hit anything there pump 24 We go present our card and chuck it in. See you in a minute. Ouch! That was uh, just over 500 litres. Pump price, which is not what we pay because it goes through the fuel card, £990 for just over 500 litres. It's 194.9 here, so 195 a litre. It's criminal, absolute criminal. Right, so we go round as though we're going to go out. We're not going out, out, we're going out in. So we just go around over these horrible, really bad humps. Not too fast to protect our valuable goods and um, go out at a roundabout, go up round, I've spotted my space that I want to get in but if some muppet might get in there beforehand, I never know, uh, come on Mr. Old Mercedes, SLK, whatever you are, so we've got a roundabout, go back round again as we're going. Back to the services. This isn't a very nice one. Being on the left-hand drive, the blind exit on the to the uh, around a bit. I'm waffling again, aren't I? Because I'm not used to vlogging. See, I just can't remember how to do it. I just um, just waffle basically. And she's got to put up with this for the rest of her life, look. And mine. Very emotional this, you know, we all sort of moan about our jobs and and all that, but you know how it is. You know, things have got to come to an end, haven't they? So unless this Becton goes into where I want to go, I'm going to be okay, I can go. I don't want nobody up behind me either because I've got to go as I'm going towards the pumps again. I see him, I see Mr. Mr. Beckton's, oh he's going around there, look, he's going to jam his, you jam yourself in there mate, I'll go up and sit on my own, because um, I'm like that, look, unless there's something little in here now, which I hope not, we get out there, is a nice little special Stevie bloke space, see, we like them spaces, don't we? Because um, we don't get so much rumpus going on, so we'll get in here, look and then we can be on our own for half an hour. Social distancing and all that. But it is a bit awkward when you get people coming up behind you, but I haven't, so I'm lucky. It's nice this simple space here. Right, I'm first gonna check my Twitter to see if Greg's of um had the balls to um, contact me. I've even got a rubbish bin there, look. So there's no need for any rubbish. Well, there is rubbish thrown out. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's still rubbish thrown about. Um, what a surprise. Right, break. 10 past 8, break. Hazards off. Engine off. Right, let's do this. The final. Hurdle. Can 
the M4 down to the M3. Wonder what that will bring us. It looks like somebody couldn't make it to the bin there. Look, look, there's a rubbish bin here. Look, and the bags on the floor. Look, Ugh, disgusting creatures. Um, oh, that's very nice. Anyway, you didn't need to see me eating eating my Gregs. It's not very attractive, is it? We had no issues with Greg's and my points went on this morning, but they still haven't contacted me over yesterday's um, malarkey, so um, I'll be on that later. See, what's, uh, see what they've got to say for themselves, if anything. So we're going over these horrible blooming umps again, look. <clears throat> They're very harsh, I suppose, for a reason, isn't it? Yeah. So right, this um should have done this beforehand. Let's put this in the in the nav to see what um what's ahead of us. Down to 34 if anything. There we go. Right. We should be back at base by about 20 past 10, so an hour and a half from here. All being good. Yeah, I feel better now about my bacon roll, but basically, well, I suppose I would have had it anyway, but basically I've got to sort of try and use my vouchers up that I've got, because I'm not going to be on the road very much now, am I? So, um, it's either use them or lose them. I, I can um, use the Road Chef ones if we go up and see Abby, the daughter. Uh, we can go into Sutton Scotney and use those, but there's no motos near us. This is the closest moto to where I live, and so it's, it's over an hour away. And I ain't worth using the diesel just to come up here to spend £2.50 or £5 voucher just for that. But the, the fuel ones that I get are, um, are valid for two months. I don't know why they do that, but the parking ones are only valid for a month. So I don't know why they don't give you longer on them. It's a bit tight really, isn't it? You know, it doesn't matter really. They could give you six months, couldn't they? Wouldn't it? You know, it's still, they're still going to be used, no matter which way. But anyway, never mind. So that's uh, the last um, I'll get fuel voucher I'll get with um, <coughs> filling up at Moto, because that's it, I'm done. I don't know what to say really, this is just weird. I'll be going home tonight with the car stacked up to the ceiling with all my stuff, up to the roof. And um, I have to sort everything out in case we're called back for any special jobs. So we're going to have to sort of work out what, what we really need and what we, you know, we can do with and do without. And just have a sort out really, because you can't cart everything backwards and forwards. It'd be easier when we get the van because we'll have more room. But just with the car and my Skoda, I'm going to sell that because we just can't have the amount of vehicles. I'm really sad for it to go. It's done less than 100,000 and I've had it since 2006. And it's been such a good car, 60 to the gallon. And if you want it to go, it really goes. Oh, we're just south of Sutton, Scotland. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Can't be bloody holiday traffic already, surely. Queuing all the way down the bloody Winnell. Let's hope not. Ugh. Ugh, what's going on here? There's no way around this here from here, look. If it was between this junction with just Parson and Sutton's Gartney, you can go off and come down the old road, but this this way there's no um there's no escape, you're actually in it. You can't go around it at all unless you go down through Winchester and that's pointless in something like this. Uh, you could perhaps go down through Winchester in a little truck, but I wouldn't attempt it in an Arctic. Oh well, we've had a pretty good run the last couple of days I suppose, but this, this looks yuck. Somebody's done something stupid I expect. Yeah, no change there then. I reckon it's down here by the, there's a lay-by down here, I reckon it's there, people, I don't understand people that park in a lay-by that's only a couple of miles away from, or past um, 
for services. Why would you put yourself at risk by trying to get out of the lay-by or sitting in a lay-by that's not protected? I've never seen the sense in that. Yeah, I'd never do it. One, mainly because I'm left-hand drive and I find it even harder to get out or something like that. But um, No, you'd never catch me in a, in a lay-by next to a live lane. And the driver's sleep in them. I don't understand. How can they sleep in it being rocked around all bloody night? You know, if you sleep with your head at that end, you're going to have your bloody head knocked off if somebody hits it, isn't you? Yeah, it's a bit emotional, all this, really. It's weird times. 42 years. 42 years and a month. Yeah. Crazy. Who'd have thought I'd driven that long? Imagine the miles I've covered and the fuel I've put in and the stress I've had and the good times I've had. I've had a lot of good times in this job. It's been, it's been a good job. It's not good now. It's not as good now, obviously, because all the restrictions and all the rubbish with Brexit. But it's people's attitudes. And it's not just these idiots driving cars. So-called professionals, they're just, they just seem up themselves, a lot of drivers. It's not like the old days when we used to help each other out. No, they'd rather run you off the bloody road. You know, I've had several, not come togethers on the way down today, but you know, the old elephant racing where nobody let it by. What's wrong with them? I just don't understand it. And they're old enough to know better, some of these drivers. You know, they, they can't be far off my age, and they're, they're doing it. Now, I'd like to think that they've been doing the job similar years to me, maybe not as much, but you know, anybody that's been doing it at least 10 years should know that you've got to have a little bit of sense about you. I don't know if I can see down here if anything going on. I think we may be getting in the outside lane so I would assume that it is that lay-by. We'll soon find out. So the vlogs will take a different direction from uh, today obviously you know um, it's going to be camper van life and I don't know if you can be interested in that, but like I said yesterday, a lot of people just like watching me and Ange, you know, sort of rub along together, mucking about, you know. It's uh, like this vlog's, like my channel is, it's it's not all about trucking, it's just my life, you know, what I've been doing and all. Um, so it's what I'm going to be doing, you know, once the van comes, there'll be that. So I haven't done any vlogging for a while because you know, I think UK vlogging, UK truck vlogs. If you're not allowed to show too much about what you do, which I'm not, it's just boring, isn't it? You know, I'm going here, I'm going there, I'm going to crew, I'm going to, I'm going to here, I'm going to there, I'm going to, I'm going to what's the name? And it's just the same old, same old. So that, that's why I don't watch UK vloggers, you know, not UK vloggers, UK truck vlogging, because it's just crazy, really. But if anybody wants to, you know, change the subject a little bit, I don't know if anybody's watching this at the moment that could help me out, but um, once we get into our camper van life, I don't even like doing that because that's a bit naff, um, I'll be quite happy to um, review any products, you know, for making camping easier or camper vanning easier and what have you. So I would be quite happy to to um, review any products. It looks like this DAF, I think it was a DAF. His door looks a bit cockeyed. Yeah, it's just, oh, it, it, something's gone down through the bushes here. It looks like, yeah, look at that. Oh, it's not a DAF, it's, oh, it's a Scanner, a modified Scanner. Look at this through the, in the field. Oh, this is what it is, look. Oh, it's a post office lorry. Jeez. Oh, dear. That looks bad. So they've had to come together. Um, yeah, it looks bad. I hope the drivers are alright. Yeah, so somebody's done something stupid there. I reckon it's the lay bar. I reckon that green thing. I'm, I'm only guessing. I'm not blaming him. I reckon that green scan here was pulling out the lay bar and um, post office lorries hit it. But maybe not. Maybe I'm totally wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But no, that didn't look good at all. Yeah, so if anybody wants to send me any products that I review, I will give them a thorough and honest review. That could be interesting. As you know, I'll say, say it like it is. 
no, to be honest, I would like to do that. They give me something to do in me, in me retirement, review products, and it might help out a little bit with what we're going to do. So um, that's it. Right, we're through that now. Let's crack on. Let's get back, get this unloaded, and get sorted out, and um, finish. Pull that card out for the last time. 